Hello, welcome to my channel. All right, so I wanted to explain and tell you about this makeup look right here. All right, so we're gonna explain exactly what I'm wearing on my face here. All right, so first of all, to do a base face, I did face primer right here. And yes, all these are unique products. Um, and yes, I am a presenter, but I'm not going to tell you to buy the products if you don't want to buy the products. All right. Okay. So face primer. And then I also use a touch liquid foundation and a concealer. All right. And I'm using the same shade in them both. Um, and my shade right now technically is velour, but I have a darker shade on me right now, um, which is taffeta. And I first use concealer and I put it on my brush and I wipe my whole face down with it. And then to top it off, I do my liquid foundation to do a full on coverage when it comes to my face. Okay, and then to set it, I use my translucent Touch Behold setting powder here. And yes, this looks super white and stuff, but when you put it on, it's super translucent, okay? And it gives you that nice, super nice, like if you see this like airbrush finish here because of it. So it's a matte translucent setting powder. So, all right. And then if you see this gorgeous blush color here, that's not blush, that is actually a eyeshadow and it's called Gifted. It's one of our press shadows. Um, all press shadows are infused with eye primer already. So yes, I did use those today on my eyes. I used, see what I used. All right, I used this color right here as my inner corner. I used this one right here all over my eyelid. And then I used the darker pink right here and I use that one for up in here, my transition. Um, and these colors, okay, so the really pretty dark pink right here, like that gorgeous color. Now, I'll give you some swatches. All right, this one is ostentatious. So that is my transition up above here. Then we got conspicuous. And that one is so gorgeous. By the way, these are all, these are metallic. Okay, then we have Delirious, which I use as my inner corner today. Super, super pretty. And like that was one swatch, by the way. Okay, and then if you see this gorgeous highlight, that would be right there would be gentle. And there's nothing gentle about that because look at that. That is like blinding, okay? All right, so I used all of those and then we get to my brows and for my brows, I actually used a palette and I used the Addiction palette number four and I used this dark color right here, which is called Brave and then I used Tender on the under my brows to kind of shine it up a little too. And then I also used the Duet Contour Stick, which is not, it's gonna... Go away soon, so if you want it, go get it. Um, I have not used that. I used so much of this. Look at that. Look how down it is now because, yeah, I used so much of it. So, it's been a while. So, and then this one is the contour part. I only need a little bit up. And that one I actually used today. So, I'm, you know, I took it and I blended it all in. Um, anyway, so I used that. My favorite, favorite mascara of all time, okay, is Epic Mascara, which is this one right here, um, is Mood Truck Epic Mascara, but for Unique, they came out with a waterproof Epic Mascara. Same thing as Epic Mascara, just waterproof and a little bit different packaging, um, and this is my favorite. Now, look at this. You see my lashes. Looks super, super amazing. All right. So I'm also wearing this um, for my wedding in nine days, by the way. Okay, and then to top it off, I used setting spray, which I love this because look at this. It's such a nice, like there is no bad scent to it. It smells really good. Um, it has a little bit of a scent and it smells really good. 
And then, um, you know, that spray was like just water right there. Just a nice spritz and you're good. I would say you only need one if you're extra <laughs> uh, like me sometimes. Then you can do two or three, however you want to do it, to set your makeup all day. It'll last you all day. All right, then I also use lip exfoliator, which doesn't look like this. Uh, this was a Christmas one, but um, the one that usually is, it's a black tubed one. I just don't have that one right now. Um, and then I also used a lip stain. That's what's on my lip right here. And let me show you, okay? This is, it literally feels like water on your lip but it gives such a nice tint of color and it's a stain. So yes, it stays on pretty well. I wouldn't say it stains your lips so much. Cause I haven't really noticed it stained my lips so much, but it really is nice. And I like using it, especially when you're wanting to do a little bit of color but you're not wanting so much of color that like it's gonna stand out so much um or you just want to feel like you don't have any makeup on and stuff by the way most amazing thing about our liquid foundation um it dries as a powder and also about it is um what else was i gonna say this is a medium it can be um it's light what is it light to medium coverage but when you pair it with the concealer then you get full on coverage and these things last you so so long um this is actually literally my second bottle of foundation and i started um to be a presenter in january and i used that for like so much um so many months and then i literally just got this maybe two months ago maybe i think it was so it lasted me a long time um, and if you want a tint of color to use, you could also get a lip bonbon. They come in different, um, what is it? Different names, uh, different colors. Um, if you wanted like just a clear one, we also have that. Now this is like one of my favorite things that we came out with, which is a lip oil. And I love this, love this so, so, so much. Um, the reason why I love it so much is it's nice and it's hydrating for your lips. And it's clear. It's almost like a lip gloss, but it's not sticky or anything like that. Um, but it's super hydrating and gives a little bit of a shine. Also, what I haven't mentioned is our Z palettes. If you've ever seen Z palettes on Amazon and stuff, you can see that they're pricey. Um, or some are cheap and stuff, but the one thing that a difference is, is we have a gigantic pretty mirror on it, and then you can hold 25 of our pressed shadows or any eyeshadows that you use that are magnetic and stuff that you can put in here. So, and, um, usually this is blank. I just decided to decorate it. That is something that I love about, um, these eyeshadow palettes is because they're so... What do you want to call them? Basic. Um, some people like them basic and some people like them decorated. So what I did was I was creative and basic here to creative. And I put quotes on mine, um, different quotes. I use stickers. So you could use stickers. You could do gems. You could be all creative. And like for you people who uh, love to do like whipped phone cases you could do like whipped all over the palettes or something and use it that way um it's just being creative and coming up with your own and that is a big reason why i love these is again there's another one i decided to design um and then here is one of our addiction palettes number four and this one is number five and why is this one full of unicorn and rainbows and everything uh because this is like a full-on unicorn rainbow palette so anyway, letting you guys know on that and letting you guys know what's on my face and stuff. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or you want to see more videos of me just doing my makeup right here, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your day. Subscribe, please, so you get notified every time that I go, not live, but every time I upload a video. 
Um, again, these are gorgeous, gorgeous metallic colors. And actually, these ones are brand new. Um, when it came to press shadows and stuff, we launched. So if you guys want to hear anything like that, or you guys want me to review any kind of products and stuff, let me know in the comments below. Again, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and bye.